What's happening, everyone? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today, we're going to take a look at some new custom binds I got from Layman Bookbinding. Um, there's been a ton of stuff going on at the Canadian headquarters for THC, so we'll catch up a little bit on that front as we go through these books. We'll look through them all. There's about nine new books in here. I'm very excited to have these. Even though they don't deal in custom binds, Organic Price Books is a fantastic place to get your custom bind material. We've got two promo codes being shown on this screen here. THC2 and THC ship it together. We'll get you various discounts on your orders. A great place to get trade paperbacks, Omnis, Absolutes, Deluxe Editions, amazing service, amazing shipping, amazing packaging. Place to go. All right, so. I've had these nine books at Layman's for a while now. I always forget when I drop things off. It seems like the time flies by, but it did take a little bit to get these nine books back. Um, I did have Batman Eternal Bound. This was just using the thick trade paperbacks that were recently released, not the single issues. The good thing about using the trades is you get a little bit of a table of contents too and a few intro pages. You can just repurpose from the trade paperbacks themselves. I really had this done. I know there's official releases for it. I just had this done because I, I don't know. Uh, I like the way the official releases look, but putting a huge story, 50 issues in a single book, um, not my per preferred way to read. I like to be able to walk around as I read, stand and read, have a smaller book in my hands that I can carry, and uh, have, have, a, have an, a good time reading it. The, the pages stay open. Look how quickly the pages stay open. An issue in, I no longer have to hold the book open. Um, a great story. This is really going to tie in with some of the rest of the books I'll be showing later here. More Batman related stuff. Jumping over to an anthology I had done up. This is my second Simon Spurrier anthology. Um, I actually brought my first one in for them as a reference. They, they did an amazing work of making them look basically identical with different colors. My pre previous one's red. This is like a nice navy. Um, really nice nice blue color i really like it um this collects alienated six gun gorilla and weavers three simon spurrier mini series um the reason i love custom binding is for books like this uh this is not a book you'll find anywhere else probably not a book that's ever going to be released unfortunately although it's a, a an amazing collection of three fantastic stories i love simon spurrier um unfortunately a lot of what he writes is a mini series so um, being able to make an anthology like this is great. You get them all in the same place. Um, three very different stories. It's also interesting to see how, even though these are all Boom Studios, the difference between like the single issue production value of the book itself and then like the trade paperbacks for Six Gun Gorilla or Weavers, the paper quality is very different. The, the experience flipping through it is very different. But either way, I'm very excited for it. I love all these stories very much. I think I've mentioned them all at this point in uh, in videos, but... Um, if I haven't, I'll probably uh, do a deeper dive on, on Simon Spurrier once again just to um, get, get him some more attention. I know he's doing a lot of X-Men stuff now, so probably a video looking through some of that and what my thoughts are on it, but we'll see. That's a, a story for another time. This red book also uh, is actually a very exciting book for me. It wraps up the young animal corner of my collection. I say corner because it's very tiny. I think I have four custom binds for that universe. This is the fifth one, which I believe collects everything for it, I think. Um, they squeezed this young animal on the spine. I'm so impressed. Uh, it's a little tough to read from a distance, but it definitely says young animal once you get in close. Um, so this collects three miniseries, um, Bug the Adventures of Forager by the Allred family, um, which is a, a crazy, crazy story about... Um, Bug, Forager, whatever you want to call him. Um, one of the characters from the New God, the Fourth World side of the DC Universe. Um, as he gets involved in saving the universe, reluctantly and, and disheartedly. Um, a fantastic story. The great thing about Young Animal is that the, the stories are all very trippy. They're all trying to be very trippy. Um, but they all have really interesting lessons within them. Um, great perspectives and... Uh, yeah, the the perspectives are really fantastic because they try to really go outside the box um, with the weirdness of the story and yet relate messages and, and lessons to things that happen in in, uh, in everyday life. Um, you know, something like finding being your own person, not doing things for the sake of, 
you know, obeying a command or specifically disobeying a command. So I really like these stories for that reason. Eternity Girl's another great one. Um, looking at the weirdness of people and the weirdness of of ideas um, and the execution of ideas. Not my favorite kind of art style, but I think it really worked well for the title. Um, and it looks really cool in a book like this where all three stories have vastly different um, art styles. But I believe that one's by Margaret Visaggio. And then the last book is Collapser, which is why, which is by uh, the Way Brothers, as as it were. Um, it might I think uh, Gerard Way is involved, and I think Mikey Mike Way is, is his name. I forget. Um, but um, a story about a dude who's uh, you know he's got some mental differences. Um, I, I haven't read this story since it came out, but. I really enjoyed it. It gets, again, very trippy, starts diving into different universes and different things within uh, within his brain. Um, very interesting story. I highly recommend checking it out. Got a little image anthology here. I forget why I started collecting decorum and, uh, and family tree and single issues. I think I got excited about custom binding again, and I really wanted to do single issues. So I started buying both books from my local comic book shop and... Uh, Eventually, they both got hardcovers because, of course, why wouldn't they? It's Jonathan Hickman and Jeff Lemire. So I decided to salvage the 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 proposition and the plan I had in place. I would put them both in one bind, and that way it would the net cost would wind up being lower than having to get both stories individually in the oversized hardcovers. Um, you know, obviously having oversized artwork for the, the Huddleston art and the Phil Hester art would have been nice, but hey, you can't uh, you can't change everything. I'm very happy with the way this this turned out. Um, Decorum is a really really crazy book. I did read it as it was coming out. Um, I can't really say much was retained in my brain, so I'm very excited to reread it again all in one go now, not waiting the two. I think sometimes even three months at a time for for the next issue to come out. Family Tree, absolutely love this story. Jeff Lemire, Phil Hester. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff. Emotional, short, sweet. Loved it. Batman Eternal Volume 2. Nothing too exciting here. Um, just finishing up the, the second half of that series. Um, and now we're going to move on to the reason I even bound Batman Eternal. And it's the Scott Snyder Batman run. Um, so four volumes collecting everything up to... Oh boy, what is it? The Batman Who Laughs, I think. Um, the one regret I have is I did not include Last Night on Earth. I was very impatient, but maybe one day uh, I'll, I'll sneak it into another book somewhere. Um, I know I'd, I'm holding them up in the wrong order here. As you can see, though, I decided to use um, both volume numbering and then also give the volumes titles. Um, it, it, I thought it would have been too bland otherwise to have that many books next to each other. Um, so I kind of made up titles based on what's in them. Volume 1 essentially contains, I took the, th the three trade paperback box sets, um, which I was able to get at really good prices, and just had them bound. Um, so the first three volumes essentially collect those three box sets. It was kind of weird splitting it up, but I wound up doing the Court of Owls stuff, City of Owls, um, Death of the Family, and then Zero Year. And everything basically leading up to that super heavy arc where it's uh, Jim Gordon taken the reins so um and that that's essentially all of volume three is that and the the return so um very cool stuff i'm really excited to be able to reread this run in, in its entirety once again i really like the scott snyder run i know matt wasn't a huge fan of it he sort of started to warm up to it which is awesome but i really like it i also really like the paper of the the box sets um especially compared to an official omnibus um, and of course the great lack of gutter loss and the ease with which I'll be able to read these volumes compared to the official releases. Um, you know, I added, I included all-star Batman, um, you know, not the greatest moment of the run, you know, Scott Snyder's run famously, um, unfortunately got sort of progressively worse where all-star Batman by the end is like a very strange, um, book that borderline feels like it's Scott Snyder not trying to do Batman anymore. Either way, I'm looking forward to rereading it after uh, years of not reading it and sort of, you know, evolving my taste and whatnot. And of course, the Batman Who Laughs, amazing, amazing storyline, so good. But that's it. 
big uh, bundle of books returned from Layman. I've got another batch ready to send out soon, but I want to know what you guys are up to. What are you guys planning to bind? Have you bound anything recently? Um, trying anything new? Looking forward to anything? Let us know down in the comments section below, please. Looking forward to uh, to seeing what everyone's binds plan bind plans are uh, in the future and looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you all very much. Until next time, you stay classy, Internet.